Hey, True Believers England team here with another round of comic book fight night. This time, Maranya and Spike Valentine are going into the speed round and answering who is the best copycat hero. You've got Namor, you got Aquaman, and they chose these two. Let's see how it goes. So, let's get this party started. We're going to change things up, and this is the speed round. So, I'm going to ask a question. You have 20 seconds to come up with an answer. First one to speak. Uh, if you don't answer, the point goes to the other person. If the first one to speak is the first one to... The first one to answer is the first one to speak. You have... 15 seconds, and then the other person will get 15 seconds, and then each of you get a rebut, okay? Cool. Who is the worst famous comic book artist? Worst famous comic Dude, book Dude, artist? Dude, 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 it was Terry Le Leo, man, because he, he's, he's still uh, hold nothing. On. Whoa, 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 hold on there. Who, who did you pick, Spike? Terry Leo. I picked Deodato. Daryl Ao. Oh, my God. I can't believe you went there. And you went Deodato. Okay. Uh, so Maranya, you uh, you get first uh, first hit. So uh, as soon as you start talking, time's on the clock. Well, Deodato is one of the worst artists I've ever seen. He can't draw his way out of a paper bag. All his stuff is dark. It's obscured. It's hard to read. It's it's hard to parse what's going on. And he does rely on too much on photo references and bad ones at that. So yes, he is the worst artist. Time. Spike. There Leo is no one who has even worse talent than me, and I don't know how to draw. And the only reason he every everyone knows about him is because he got into an argument with diversity in comics. That's all his career, getting into an argument on Twitter. He never had like a Time. job or anything. The point is he is not in the comic books that we can buy off the shelf. No, you, you, Deodato you, is, oh and Deodato is, and you can see his artwork, and you can see what a piece of crap it is. I, 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 no, 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 you, hold on, Spike. Good. Spike, this is her time to talk, dude. <laughs> it's oh, a, it's we the speed round. Yeah, it's and, okay. no, in the speed rounds, you gotta you, you go with your own rebuttal. Yeah. Uh, give you five more seconds there, Maranya, to. Okay. Uh, yeah. But yeah, Deodato is out there. You can you can sample his work. I wouldn't. But and time. All right. Now's your rebuttal, Spike. Diodato at least made you know the talent scouting. Dear Leo, you can just watch his work online and he's no one. And I don't think he'll ever get good and he's already old. And Diodato time. is published. You can All see. right. That, that, okay. Good, guys, great, great arguments. Great arguments made. Um, what did you think, uh, Dalton? I'm giving this one to Maranya because. Um, they both kind of referenced it, but I wouldn't even technically consider Daryl Ao, he who must not be named, a comic book artist because he's not published in anything significant and isn't even primarily superhero genre. And as they both mentioned several times, we wouldn't know his name if it weren't for that little Twitter spat he got in with DNC. So, well, I gotta give this one to Maranya by default because I don't. I, I, I think they both danced around the fact that Daryl Ao isn't technically even a comic artist. I would I would have to give this to Maranya as well, only because she actually described why Deodato's art is bad. While uh, Spike, you went after Ao for the fact that we shouldn't even know his name. He you so uh, Anya, Anya was talking about why he was a bad artist. You were talking about why the fuck do we even know why he's shouldn't be famous. So, yeah, I'm going to have to give this point to Anya as well. Uh, Greg Land is being talked about in the uh, comments section. Yeah. Uh, which, uh, you know what? Cannot argue I, I, that. I would actually defend Greg Land. As a tracer? Really? He traces a lot, but there's a lot of tracers in the industry. It's not a, a non valley tool. Mm -hmm. And he uh, and I've seen him drawn live without tracing, so he's he's very okay. good actually. Say a dotto one over AO. Once again, tell me who is the best sidekicks in all of Comicdom? Well, it has Robin. to be Robin. Ah, she got it out before you did, Spike. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. Uh, who, who, well, you still have to come up with an answer, Spike. Oh, uh, is, is this my time now? Yeah, no, you have to come up with an answer. Why? Oh. Who is the best sidekick? Who is the best sidekick? Then I would have to say uh, the Human Torch, actually. I the think the Human, human Torch 
Yeah. Who was Human Torch a sidekick to? He wasn't in <coughs> name a sidekick, but he was the one who made accessible the Fantastic Four to a lot of kids. Can get it? <sighs> He, he was filling that role, even though he was. All righty. Uh, Human Torch versus Robin. Ma Anya, you go. Uh, you, you got first uh, First go. Robin is the OG of all sidekicks. He predates Eric. He predates Bucky. You name it. He set the standard. Was also like Batman in that he was an orphan. And he learned from Batman. He Time. I defend why Human Torch is a sidekick. Human Torch is a, is a sidekick, not in, uh, not, we're not naming him a sidekick, but he made accessible uh, the Fantastic Four to a lot of kids, and that's the reason why Robin exists. But he was integrated to the team as an equal, instead of being, you know, the learning the trade from someone. He, and he time. I disagree with that. Robin was made, with, is basically a full partner, and that, and that he also progressed to Nightwing, his own hero, but he learned how to be a hero from his mentor. So he was the OG uh, sidekick, but he was also Time. the best. All righty, well, Spike. Well, the Human Torch was a fantastic character that developed, uh, you know, uh, psychology, even uh, separate from the Fantastic Four and being Spidey's friend and, you know, his love life and stuff. And he uh, was a full character by himself, even though he was part of the Fantastic Four and he wasn't mentored by the And Time. All righty, Dalton. <laughs> I gotta give this one to Anya again because I'm sorry, Spike, but you didn't substantiate your claim that uh, Human Torch was a psych was a sidekick in all but name. You kept saying that he didn't learn his skills, and maybe this is just a, a preference for myself, but. In my opinion, the the sort of reason why sidekicks exist is because they are branches <laughs> off from the hero and and take their lead from the hero. So if you if you can't say that Human Torch learned his skills from the Fantastic Four, then you can't really substantiate the claim that he's a sidekick to them. Okay, going to the comment section, Bucky, Kid Flash, Speed, basically could have named the Teen Titans. <laughs> um. Uh, when you said Human Torch, I thought maybe you meant Toro. I wasn't talking about Toro. I was talking about Johnny. Yeah, but you talked about Johnny Storm. But here's the thing. Here's where, and I, I was waiting for Anya to jump on it because I heard it. You literally said the words, Human Torch is not a sidekick per se. You said that. No, in, in the definition that people use it in, so, you know, yeah. you, you, you can design Robin like, yeah, he was made to be a sidekick, but sidekick is an archetype in literature that doesn't mean you design the character to be the sidekick. They just happen to be. Mm -hmm. Like, Luke Skywalker was the sidekick of Obi-Wan Kenobi in the first Star Wars movie. Okay, you really am gonna are gonna have to substantiate that one too. Okay? Uh, no, I mean I, I, this is already outside of the points. I already lost this one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, well there, that, some people are saying that in the uh, some people are saying that in the comment section. Um, I think it was uh, Mata who said as soon as somebody says Robin, uh, you lose the battle. But I, you could use the the same thing. Uh, she said that Robin grew into Nightwing, but Bucky grew into the Winter Soldier. You know, there are there are arguments to be made. Kid Flash became Flash. You know, so and and if you want and if you want to go with characters that aren't necessarily sidekicks in name, there there are plenty of characters that fill that role better than than Johnny Storm does in relation to the Fantastic Four. For example, Wong in relation to Doctor Strange counts as a sidekick even though he doesn't really get that title in name. He doesn't go on on battles or anything. Yeah, I'm afraid I'm going to be I'm going to have to give that one to Anya as well. Uh not because she chose Robin, I just actually thought she made a really good argument and I don't think you really gave a great argument as to why Johnny Storm is a sidekick rather than a team member. But anyway, you can be both at the same time, it's all I'm saying. That and, and that 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 may be so. Um, let's see. Couldn't you have used any Robin because there were many? Yeah, it really sounded like she was talking about Dick Grayson, though. I went with the OG. Yeah, she mentioned Nightwing, so it had yeah. to be. Dick it had to be. Yeah. I was going with the OG. Yeah. The OG thing. I like that argument as well. 
Uh, so anyway, okay. So you guys, by all means, please chime in. Tell me who you thought won that particular argu argument. Not who you think is better for the sidekick thing, but who did you think won the argument? Who made the best argument is the uh, the thing. Let's go into Maranya in the comments as well. So let's move on to the next question. It is three to two. Spike, you need this to stay alive. And okay. we are we are on the sixth question here. What is the best weapon in comic books? Wolverine. Uh, weapon, dude. Yeah, Wolverine's a weapon. I would still, I would go with Batman's brain. Wow, I did not expect that to happen. Okay, uh, <laughs> Spike, you've got Wolverine. <laughs> go. Wolverine has Can, been like. Hold on, I'm gonna I'm going to say this. I'm gonna I'm gonna add an extra rebuttal onto this. And before you guys continue, I want you to convince us why over Mjolnir, why over the Batarang, why are your choices weapons, okay? That's going to be your first first thing, and then both of you will get two rebuttals. Okay. Spike, as soon as you start talking, time is on the clock. Wolverine has fought, well, wars even before, you know, the last century, and he was was always treated as a weapon and his whole arc is trying to not be a weapon literally is weapon x and time anya why is batman's brain a weapon because he's used it to create everything he uses like the, the batmobile the batarangs all the, the, the bat devices he also uses it to he's a he's the greatest detective that is that is his strength his brain is his strength and time uh spike start fighting it out yeah, Wolverine is the only weapon with a comic book series that is so uh, so celebrated. And historically, everyone wants to have Wolverine's adamantium claws at their disposal. And it's always war with him because he's a weapon and he wants to escape that. But since he's the Time. weapon, he's Weapon X. Okay. Okay. Maranya? Okay. Now, like, as I said, Batman's brain is what drives him. It gives him the weapons. It gives him the detective skills. Without Batman's brain, all you'd have is some guy swinging around with a with a batarang. He that his brain is what makes Time. him Batman. The last rebuttal, Spike. Yeah, it can't be the brain because that way Einstein would be the uh, atom bomb, and that's not true. While Wolverine is, he is a weapon. Batman is not a weapon. That's my rebuttal. Okay, Maranya, last rebuttal. I did not. I did not argue that Batman was the weapon. His brain is the weapon. And he has his strategies as well. He is a thinker. He acts. He is able to to plan battles, etc. And time. All right, guys, that was an interesting battle. I did not expect those answers. I have to say, I love the fact you did. That, that, one, that, that one I pulled out of my butt. <laughs> that's what the that's what this game is all about. I love it, uh, guys. In the comments section, by all means, please tell me who you thought won this argument. Uh, Dalton, what did you think? I might have to give this one to Spike on the grounds that he kept bringing it back to the point that Wolverine was made a weapon. He was essentially forged into a living weapon repeatedly. And uh, as much as I get where Maranya was going with the idea that because Batman is a thinker and an intellectual, his brain is technically a weapon, and Lord knows I could understand that being a philosophy person myself. Yeah, there wasn't really much of a forging process or a, or a, like, a poetic turn of phrase to excuse a natural aptitude being considered a weapon. Okay, Sorry, and James, James, I, I'm... I, uh kind of agree with you a little bit but i'm not going to say that because that was why i gave the extra 15 seconds to explain why they thought what they chose was a weapon i was going to go with anya because i loved her argument about how because of his brain and it wasn't just you know the the fact that he was uh, able to create things he's also a tactician the whole nine yards i love that argument i thought it, she she really did a good job in articulating it. However, since I said Anya, since Dalton said uh, Spike, we do have to go to the comment section. And I'm sorry, Anya, but the comments no went to Spike. Yeah, no problem. No problem. <laughs> but we are now tied. It went to. It's gone down the last. Uh, Resource. The last thing. Now I'm going to use an example, and because of that, you guys are not able to use it. Okay. What, what do you mean? Well, let me continue. Oh, for this question. 
Yes, for the question. Namor was created by Marvel Comics, one of the first superheroes to be made after Superman. Mm-hmm. Soon after that, DC came up with Aquaman. Uh... So, guys, tell me, who is the best comic book knockoff, not Aquaman? Okay. Moon Knight. Anya, you spoke first. So as soon as you start talking, time is on the clock. Because okay, you've got Hawkeye, who arguably can see, be seen as a as a knockoff of Green Arrow, but Hawkeye is even better than that because he's got he's got the tech arrows, but he's got the skill to go with it, and he's got the humor, and he's a he's a team player, he's a team leader, time. so he's better. All righty, Spike, you pick Moon Knight, who am I, I'm assuming you are saying is a knockoff of Batman? Yeah, exactly. Well, Moon Knight is a clear knockoff of Batman, but he has developed this unique identity in comics as the, the crazy vigilante who ca- has to deal with reality, and that makes a very good comic, a very interesting and different comic from Batman, which was, you know, the inspiration for the character. Time. I disagree that Moon Knight is a direct ripoff of Batman because Batman has his vengeance, but he is not a psychotic. Whereas you can you can definitely see the parallel between Hawkeye and Green Arrow, and Hawkeye is still better than Green Arrow. Time. Oh, uh, Batman is a psychotic. The thing is, Moon Knight takes it to the extreme level of not knowing what reality is anymore, and he fights crime like he means it. He not only wants, you know, to be the good guy, he wants to really punish crime and worship his lord. And time. Wow. Oh, my gosh. They, they, they took it to the mats, ladies and gentlemen. This is good. I like this fight. Because I love the fact that you drew a direct parallel to Green Land. I can't talk. Uh, to Green Arrow. Uh, you attached it. The one that attached Moon Knight to Batman. I don't think it needed to be. But um, I love the fact that you did that. You mentioned that not only was he uh, Green Arrow, but he was made better. I, uh, I love out swinging. I like the fact that you even attacked Moon Knight. You didn't let him sit on his laurels. You put. I'm also going to have to give it to Maranya, and I'm going to do this delicately because I might have to skirt around some of my biases here. The argument of it being a more direct parallel, whereas you, you pointed out how, and I would have pointed this out too, which is why I'm going to try and avoid being biased, um, that N- Moon Knight is not a Batman parallel. In, in a significant number of ways. So you kind of undermined Spike's argument and made some really compelling arguments of your own. So, hey, I'm giving it to Maranya. Yeah, but I love the way he fired back when uh, she said that uh, Batman uh, wasn't psychotic. He said, are you kidding me? He is psychotic, but then, you know, he just took I, it over the level. I, I did, I did see. I did I gotta acknowledge give it to his vengeance. I did acknowledge his vengeance, but he's not. Yeah, you did, but I think he did volley it right back. Yeah, it looks like it looks like it looks like Spike is going to win because looking at the comments. I think you made the mistake though, Anya, of focusing on he's not a Batman parallel because of the vengeance when you should have brought up the ways in which Moon Knight is not even applicable to Batman as a parallel. For example, the fact that he draws his power from a god. Uh, we, we we can safely say if Mariana go. You made a, I thought you made a great point when you connected them. Uh, that's something that Spike didn't really do. And who won? Uh, oh, uh, Maranya. Yeah. Maranya. Yes. 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 Maranya won. She is joining. And what we're going to try to do is get everybody together for a, uh, at least maybe every quarter, get everyone together for a Royal Rumble of sorts. We're going to rumble. Find out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There you go, gang. You heard the arguments. You heard our decision. Did we make the right choice? Was it Maranya or Spike who should have won? Let us know in the comments below. And who would you choose as the best copycat?
hero. Let me know in the comments below as well. Don't forget to click like, of course. If you haven't done it already, share this video out. Share the channel out. We need to get word. Get to a thousand as quickly as possible. And don't forget to hit that notification bell and make sure your notifications are on all.